How's it going, everybody? I am here with Natasha Jackson of Quality Standards Inspection Services. And tell them what you do. So I do a variety of things. Uh, I am a H2S inspector. I'm also a former natural hairstylist and owner. And uh, I'm currently uh, traveling with you mm -hmm. in Houston. Okay, so. One of the shoots um, that I was putting together, the project was for leather, suede, lace, and latex. Um, she chose the word leather today. Um, and when she told me, well, when I saw her today, when she came down and she says, hey, I got this handbag, 100% um, leather, coming out of California from? Token Carry. Hey, go ahead and show it to them so they can see what's going on. It's a fact, let me tell you. It and is it's a actually faux leather, but it's, it looks amazing. It does, it yeah. does. I love it, you know what I mean? Um, I like the way the, the design is in that bag. The bag does not look cheap. It is a fabulous bag. Uh, so if you can reach out to them, uh, make sure you pick up their product. Uh, how did you feel about the shoot today? The shoot was amazing. I mean, we got a chance to shoot inside, outside. You know, it was just amazing to be able to do all types of things today. Like things I haven't done before, being able to look at headshots that I never thought I would look at um, and uh, just being outside you know there's nothing like being out in the beach. and this is your second time this being is my second camera. time yeah being in front of the camera with right and, and bear in mind when I when I first shot her it was not under the best conditions or whatever um, we had it was like some lighting I, I don't control the Sun so like the clouds were moving, I was constantly adjusting. So it kind of kind of threw things off a little bit or whatever. But today, uh, we had a lot more control over um, the lighting and everything like that. So um, I believe that the photos came out um, perfectly great, perfectly fine. If you want to say it like that or whatever. Um, you on your end, when you were in front of this camera, um, how did you feel about it? I felt really natural today. I really enjoyed it. I think the first time I was nervous. This time I was just able to relax and just enjoy the process. So today was really comfortable. Okay. And you did your own makeup today too? I did my own makeup. Did. I don't normally wear makeup. So today I did full makeup and that was an unusual experience. I also did my hair. I braided my hair myself. So this is an all new thing for me to do. <laughs> well, listen. New or not, um, me as a um, photographer working with Natalia is, um, Natasha, I'm sorry about that, um, is that she takes correction. Uh, and again, correction doesn't mean anything harsh. It's just simply saying, hey, maybe you want to uh, think about doing like this or reconsider a pose or in this case, let's uh, work on a little bit of smile or maybe even not smiling or whatever. But being able to take that feedback and actually apply it uh, on the fly. Um, while the camera is, the, well, at least the shutter is clicking or whatever, is something that a lot of models, and, and, and I use the term models loosely, um, have an issue with because a lot of times people feel like it should be the way they want it to be, not what the photographer's vision is for the particular uh, model. And um, when working with me, like, are you comfortable? I was very comfortable. I mean, you're excellent at giving directions. Um, you always ask, can you touch first, with, you know, your face or adjust something, so that's great. Um, I felt very comfortable today. I, I enjoyed the, the session. It was it was amazing, you know. I'm walking away happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, but you're getting more into, like, lifestyle, right? You I am. talk about that there? I am. So, you know, I, I want to get to the point where I start sharing um, my lifestyle with people. People always ask me, about my age and how do I take care of myself. I want to get more into um, sharing like the products I use and how I live and how I eat and um, travel and a variety of things that I do. Um, and I just want to share that with other people. So that's what I want to get into. And that was the reason why I reached out to you because I was like, this might be a good place to start because pictures tell people a lot about their life. And yeah. this is what everyone loves to see today. So. Well, I would say, since we're speaking about lifestyle, what what is the one thing in your life that had like a tremendous impact for you? So the one thing for me would be, um, and it's really two, but 
Okay. My parents. Beautiful. I'm gonna go. My parents are the biggest impact um, of creating the person that I am today. And um, the reason why I say that is because my love of travel, my ability to be an entrepreneur, um, just a variety of things, I receive that from my parents. So my parents are the greatest impact of my life. Um, and then behind that is really diet and exercise. Okay. So, and when I say diet, I'm, I'm not constantly diet. I'm talking about my lifestyle of eating healthy. We all sometimes want to pick out, and that's normal. But my regular diet is, is very health okay. conscious. So, yeah. um, when you say health conscious, like, what are you? So, most of my diet is plant based. Okay. Um, I'm really big on um, like fresh juices, smoothies, um, salads, but I also eat fish. Um, I do tell people all the time that exercise is big, yoga is great, um, you know, weight training, all of those things impact how you look, you know, and I've always said as I, you know, head towards 50, I want to be no. looking my best. First, first off, <laughs> that's, so I was just like, that's my target goal is to maintain myself and my life. You see what she said? She said going towards 50. So that's anywhere between 39 and uh, 49. <laughs> so don't don't try to like be funny or whatever. But it's going in that direction. But doesn't she look good, man? You know, you got to say look beautiful skin and everything like that. Thank you. You know. Yeah. Did you just see her Thank teeth? You. Like she had nice, really nice teeth. Like. Thank you. <laughs> but I've worked. So let me tell you, I've worked on those things. One of the things that I said um, after. That I would um, work on every aspect of that, getting my teeth to the place where I wanted them to be, wearing retainers, doing all the things that I needed to do. I feel like this is the season of my life to be the best me, the best version of me, not just outward, but inward too, you know. And so everything right now for me is a journey, spiritually, mentally, physically. So working out eating right, um, you know, and doing things that I haven't done before, like photo shoots. I just, I want to experience different things now in this journey towards um, 50. Okay. So, but I'm not going to tell my age, but yeah, I have a couple more years to go, um, but I want to spend the next five years doing exactly what I want to do. Okay, now is there anything you want them to know about you? your perception on current events, I, I don't care what it is. So, you know, one of the things that I'm trying to do, I'm a very, uh, I'm a fun person, but I can be intense and I like to talk about social issues and things like that. But one of the things I'm learning to do is just be present and enjoy the moment that I'm in. Um, I used to be a person that would try to plan, you know, five, ten years out, and I think that's great, but one of the things that society doesn't teach you is to be present. So, right now, my focus is being present, present in my life, present around the people I'm around, just present with my family, um, friends, and so I'm definitely not going to get too deep because I feel like the world is already um, in a place of so much confusion. Yeah. And... Sometimes, talking about it all the time, it's, it can be really draining. So, I'm at a point now, I want to talk about how we can improve our lives. That's why I want to share my lifestyle with people because that's where I'm at. I'm trying to improve my life and I want to improve the lives around me. And I've been touching lives all my life, but I want to bring light back to a world that's been full of darkness for a long time. So, that's where my, my um, energy is. So. You know, I'm socially conscious and all of those things, but I feel like right now, I don't think people always need to hear about all the negativity. This is true. I can also agree to that. Yeah. Um, where can they reach out and uh, make contact with you? Um, social media? Uh, let them know. So, um, you can reach me through social media. Um, you can also reach me, uh, you know, via phone, email. Um, my email, it's uh, businessperiodinjackson at gmail.com. Um, you can also reach me 
by phone, 301-842-4457. I'm very accessible. Um, as for my um, social media, it's uh, Natasha J1111. Um, that should be my Instagram. And um, another one is N-A-J-A-H-11111 Instagram. So I have a few, <laughs> few ones you can reach me. Okay. Um, but yeah, and also QS um, Inspection Services. Um, that's another Instagram that I have. So you can reach me through all of those. And, um, you know, I'm accessible if you want to talk or business consultation or anything. Um, I'm here. All right, well, we're going to wrap this up real fast here, but I will let you know that um, it was a very good pleasure to be able to speak with her today. It was a very good pleasure to work with her. It's okay, ma'am. It's okay. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a small dog. It's okay. Uh, but it was a very much a pleasure to work with her today, shoot with her today, um, starting off and modeling today and everything like that. So I'm having a great time working with her. And I will be working with her um, to build her enterprise. Uh, I firmly believe that a lot of times um, it's not always about um, one person. You always gotta try to reach out, help someone, because in helping someone, you're gonna be helping yourself. And you're gonna learn things, you're gonna discover things that you probably be, um, would not have um, learned to discover uh, otherwise. So with that being said, um, I will see you guys on the next interview. You can catch me at uh, Bokashi underscore HCX on uh, Instagram. Uh, and always, you can always go to my website, officialbokashi.com. Check out the models of the month. You can just check out the photos. Just, just have a ball, you know what I mean? And um, I want you guys to be safe out here. And um, I think that's it, yeah? That's it. All right. Take care.